another video welcome back to another sunday reset if you're new here welcome let me let my dog in and then we're gonna run it back let's try that again <laughs> hey briggy babies welcome back to another video welcome back to another sunday reset with me reset with your girl brooke kennedy if you're new here welcome go ahead and hit that red subscribe button join the bricky baby gang because the bricky babies are lit we have fun and if you subscribe you gonna have some fun too so you guys i'm super excited to put out this video for one y'all know i love reset videos i say that in every day on reset video but i do i love reset videos i love routine videos i just love seeing what people do like on a regular that's super relatable to everybody you know you don't have to just be a youtuber to reset you get what i'm saying like i love putting out these type of videos so you can just see how everyone just lives their life on a regular sunday Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, just seeing what everybody be cooking, what they be cleaning, what products they be using. It's, it's just so fun. So I enjoy these type of videos. And if you're not new here, then you know, my birthday just passed a couple weeks ago. I went to DC with my mom. That was super fun. I don't know if that vlog is out before this video. Um, then in June, we were on go, we went to Florida, then before that. So I just feel like all of my months have been kind of like jammed. I did do a reset with me a month ago. But as you know, once you reset, you always resetting. So there's a lot of stuff that I gotta get together, but I'm not gonna wear myself out today because it's still Sunday. It's still a chill, relaxed day before the week. But as always, you guys are gonna see in this video what I do on Sundays, what they normally look like, and how I prepare for a productive week in my life. So what I plan to do today, I always make me a list. As you guys saw, I got up this morning, got myself together, made the bed, and yeah, I always make my bed for the most part because it just makes me feel put together. I don't know what it is, but I can literally be like sitting in my living room at three o'clock in the afternoon watching like a TV show and I can just still feel like, ugh, cause I know my bed's not made. So that's why I try to make it a point to make my bed every day. I just, I don't know. I just feel like I'm walking out of a clean room even though my room is not clean right now. So there's that. So of course I'm about to make me some breakfast, probably drink some tea. Um, I'm gonna fold clothes and watch Love Island cause I'm obsessed. And then I need to sweep and mop downstairs real bad, real bad. Me and that mop, we finna go together real bad because this floor, mm. um, I need to plan content for the fall. I'm gonna start planning content for Vlogmas. No, I'm not. But I'm gonna start planning content for the fall. I need to focus on one thing at a time. Um, I need to wash the sheets in the guest bedroom, one of them. I also need to clean the other guest bedroom from when I was packing for my vacation to Cabo because I have some stuff in there, some packages, stuff that needs to be thrown away. Of course, I want to cook dinner. And then after that, I want to clean the kitchen. And then I'll probably take Layla on a walk, you know, have some one-on-one -on -one time with her, even though we have one-on-one -on -one time all the time. And then, of course, just unwind and prepare for the week or a prepare for a relaxing evening so enough of me rambling and running my mouth girl i just had to bring y'all up to speed so y'all understand what's going on especially if you're new here i'm gonna go ahead and make me some breakfast i think i want to do i really want some grits grits eggs and bacon yeah <laughs> Stuka. 
breakfast is done again i did grits eggs and bacon when i tell y'all i love me some grits but it has to be cheese grits of course but i just love me a good hot breakfast on sunday morning it's a must and let me know do y'all put sugar in your grits or do y'all put like or do y'all put sugar in your spaghetti let me know i think that's like a northern thing if you're from the south and you're doing that you're doing it wrong okay but yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and eat this breakfast. It's 11.33. Um, I was multitasking while I was cooking. As you guys saw, I put the chairs on the kitchen table. I'm trying to decide if I was gonna go ahead and go upstairs after I ate breakfast and fold clothes, but I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and sweep and mop downstairs. Cause that's only the main thing I have to do. And then of course tonight I gotta clean the kitchen, but that's just like wiping off the countertops from after I cook dinner. And then I'm finna wipe the stove off now from after cooking breakfast. So I think I'll go ahead and do that. Back in the living room, wipe down the coffee table. And that'll be it. Cause I'm not going in, in, in. Like I'm not going too hard today, but I know I need to mop this floor. It's bad. So. Anyways, I'm gonna finish eating, probably catch up on a YouTube video real quick, and then I'll check in with y'all shortly. Upstairs to pin my hair up because the hair was getting hot on my neck and then I needed to grab the vacuum and I think I got some carpet freshener because I'm gonna vacuum the rug downstairs and wipe off the coffee table and then I'm gonna mop I put the water on the stove y'all already know if you ain't putting that hot stove water in that mop water you doing it right still as long as you got hot water but you ain't doing it right enough you did it amazing okay let's go let's go girl all right, y'all, so this is the one that I use. It's Arm & Hammer's Extra Strength Carpet Odor. Um, they do have one for pets. This is the front of it, actually. They do have one for pets as well, but this is the one that I like. I do, I pick up the one for the pets every now and then. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wipe the coffee table off real quick. And y'all be asking me about this vacuum in every reset video and y'all be writing me like randomly on Instagram, which I love it. Y'all be like, what's the name of that vacuum again? So. 
I'm gonna make sure she's linked in the pin comment so y'all can go get her. She always go on sale. I need to dump it, but y'all, this thing right here is amazing. You can vacuum your floor so you don't have to sweep. Like you don't have to sweep anything. It has two settings on here, which you can see. Right here, it has these two settings. So this one is for hardwood, tile, and your rugs. And then this one is for carpet. Babies, y'all clean your house. I guess you wonder where I've been. I search to find the love within. I came back to let you know. Got a thing for you. Y'all, these little mop shoes, best investment ever. Ah, ah, they're linked in my Amazon storefront and I'll link them in the description box for you guys. Cause you need them. I came back to let you know. Gotta thank you and I can't go. Some people go out the world for love. But they may never find what they can dream of. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you won't give up. You did my world, only you. Make me do what I'm worth. All right, baby, so I'm done mopping downstairs your girl tired and i'm out of breath Whew. anyways i'm about to go ahead and throw these throw blankets in the washing machine these are what i have downstairs when i'm laying around on the couch when i have company come over and they ask for like a blanket or something because they want to relax so yeah these need to be washed often like every two weeks every three weeks maybe once a month just pushing it but make sure you're washing your throw blankets i know it can kind of, you know, get off of our mind because we just pull it out when we're downstairs and throw it back in our baskets or our closets or our cabinets or whatever. But they do need to be washed, especially when you got company coming over and multiple people are using them. So I would say probably wash them immediately after you have company. And then if it's just you and your husband or your family, household family, then great be good. But yeah, I'm about to go ahead and throw mine. And, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm real guilty of like putting this across my legs and putting like my little plate or meal on top of it when I'm eating or popcorn and stuff. So girl, you wanna be washing these cause ain't no telling this thing probably got Popeye chicken crumbs all up in it. I love these boosters right here. This is the downy. Let me use some of these. It's time to tackle this, and it's time to tackle this. I don't know which one I wanna do first. Maybe I'll do this one first. Or I can do it together. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and just unpack this stuff out of this suitcase and put it up. And then we're going to fold those clothes. And of course, pop us up some Love Island, or I think I'm gonna watch a vlog. All right, y'all, so I have all of the clothes folded. I'm about to show y'all 
how much stuff I have to hang up. See, the thing is, I be, I be decluttering my closet, but it just seems like I'm not getting rid of enough stuff. But then when it's time to go somewhere and do stuff, whether that's summer, fall, or winter, I'm like, I don't have any clothes. And I'm always ordering stuff. So that tells me the stuff that I'm holding on to, I still like it when I look at it, but I know that I'm not going to wear it anymore. So I really need to go in there and really get rid of the stuff because I just don't have the space for it. And I'm just tired of my closet looking like that for real. Let me just show you the progress, okay? Because I did that. So I put up my undergarments and stuff um, just for the video, but this is all the stuff y'all like majority of that stuff that was in that chair this has to be hung up but i'm telling y'all when we go in my closet you're gonna be like bro you gotta figure out something but yeah but all that situated and then i'm about to put all of this up the thing is i can't put it up until i declutter okay this right here is like t-shirts and stuff that I like to wear around the house when I'm cleaning or when I'm just lounging around, falling asleep. But I need to get it down, okay? Because I'm trying to be on my grown woman anyway and stop sleeping so much in t-shirts and actually order more like pajama sets. So we're going to work on that. And then right here is like just shorts and workout pants. Have no room for that. This right here is tops, like body suits and little cute t-shirt stuff that i wear on a regular but you know i don't have room for that so i can go ahead and put these towels up but y'all look at what i'm talking about this right here is my workout drawer first of all it's out of control i can't get anything else in here so i'm about to take everything out fold that up and try to declutter same thing this i barely can get this open these don't even go in here those are shorts but you see what I'm saying? Like this is the workout tops. And I may just have to switch my drawers around. But thing is, when you marry, baby, you have to share all this ain't for me. That'd be the issue. And then look in here. This is the drawer with all those t-shirts and stuff. We really about to go through here. Like, I gotta get rid of some of these t-shirts. That don't make no sense. And then down here, it's just like tops and stuff. I'm not doing that today. I just don't have the energy to do that one today, but I will knock out this in the workout drawers. Oh my gosh. Good Lord. Just when you think you finished, you ain't finished, girl. Oh, Jesus. How do I have all of this stuff? I just don't understand. I'm just one person. Why do I have so much stuff? Lord Jesus. No one thing. If I ever go jobless i can live off my home for a little bit and sell all this stuff. i'm letting y'all all up in my business i'm really i really am i'm letting y'all all up in my business on this reset but when i say get your life together get your life together bro like this is the guest bedroom more clean clothes are over here stuff i left from vacation prep all of that is trash all of that is trash so I'm gonna go ahead and take this in my room and we're gonna fold this up we're gonna put that up lord jesus and then we're gonna take all that stuff downstairs to the trash can you got me falling falling in love that's what you call it you got me falling falling in love that's what you call it i'm not really falling all right babe so we got all the workout tops in we're gonna try this for a little while i folded them and then i laid them in sideways and i think i like that better so yeah eventually what i'm gonna have to do is because I need more workout stuff too. I'm going to have to put my workout tops in a drawer that's bigger. This one is smaller. So this is more like an underwear type of drawer. Where this one is a lot deeper. So yeah, we're going to have to figure that out. Um, or do something in my beauty room. But we'll figure that out. And that's where I'm headed with stuff anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and take all of this out. 
and we're gonna start on this one too. All right, y'all, I'm feeling good. Look at how we looking. You can pull it out and you can push it in. There's no t-shirts, it's probably one or two that's in the dirty clothes. Everything is in here. All of these are going in the trash, okay? I just had a Goodwill pile, y'all. Let me show you this Goodwill pile. Never mind, I ain't gonna do it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Cause in that beauty room and y'all ain't finna judge me, but we'll probably go through this again and make it a little bit more narrow, get rid of stuff that I know for sure. I'm just not gonna ever wear the t-shirts, just keep my go-to, the ones that I go for on a regular. But for the most part, I feel so good. That drawer is done and the workout drawer is complete. So that's good. And then the only one I have left is this one, but we'll probably do that one in another vlog. I still have this right here to hang up. I don't know if I'm gonna do that today um, because I gotta go make room and I wanna go take a little break. It's getting later, so I don't wanna wear myself out. So I probably will get to that tomorrow and you guys will see that in another vlog as well, but we'll see, we'll see. pretty put together for the most part so when I do clean and get stuff together it's not that bad so with that being said it's 4 40 your girl is probably about to take like an hour and 30 minute break I may or may not cook dinner but I do need to edit some and plan out some content and stuff like that so we'll figure it out I'm probably am gonna cook dinner I want some pasta I liked I liked I liked rookie babies I'm gonna go ahead and thaw out the shrimp and I'm gonna cook some Cajun pasta later so I can have lunch for tomorrow because I don't want to keep eating out. <laughs> Keep it all together trying to find time to have fun be on your business 
um, stay in order, stay on top of bills, keep the house together, have fun and enjoy life. When I tell you it's a constant thing, like you're never done. Even when you do finish or you do feel good, you know this has to be done again. By the way, um, if you have a pet and you love your pet and you love your house, then you need to make sure you clean in your dog bowls. Yeah, but I wanted to clean her bowl because I look at it like, treat your dogs like they're your babies. My dog doesn't want to eat out of that nasty bowl all the time so i try to clean it weekly and you know wipe it down disinfect it all of that good stuff and then filled her up with some fresh food and water so yeah i just use that little scrubby thing that y'all saw and like some all-purpose cleaner but i feel like i don't have to tell y'all this but please make sure you throw the scrubby away okay it, that's not one that you can keep but just make sure you're throwing that away because it's our baby but it's it's, it's a dog it's a dog okay Remember that it's a dog. So, but yeah, y'all, I'm about to sit here and edit for a little bit. This vlog or this DC footage that I have is so hilarious. Me and my mom are a time when we go out. We was acting like we was some freshmen in college, baby. We was acting up. So I'm about to edit some of that. I know I'm about to laugh. And then I'm going to, I'm sorry about the lighting, y'all. The sun is going down at 717. But I'm going to do some planning, plan out some content. Y'all, August, these months are flying by. August is over. We have two more weeks. And then September is here. So we're going to get ready for this fall content. I can't wait. I can't wait. Cozy vibes, the candles, the pumpkins. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, I got me a candle going. I need to book me a lash appointment, y'all. I feel so naked, like completely fresh face. I saw somebody put on their story today. They were like, lashes are curtains for your eyelashes. Girl, why can I think of that? So, so point on, like it really is. Curtains enhance your windows and it just makes it look good, you know? And you don't even do too much. You just throw some curtains up there. So I'm going to throw some lashes back up here because I feel real, real naked. I'm going to check in with y'all later.
All right, babe, so your girl just finished dinner. That pasta was amazing. So I'm about to go ahead and pour me up another cup of some wine. This is the Cupcake Moscato, but this one is not as sweet as the other one that I drink all the time. It's called Castello. Y'all have seen it before. It'll be in another vlog, but this one, for some reason, this Cupcake Moscato is not that sweet. Um, it's giving, never purchase it again, okay? But it do make you feel good when you want to feel good. I've already cleaned up the kitchen as you guys saw earlier. And we've done everything today, y'all. We cleaned the kitchen after dinner. We swept and mop. We washed clothes, not washed clothes. We folded clothes, put up majority of them. We decluttered the drawers. We took out the sheets from the guest bedroom, put those in the washer and the dryer. We planned some content, we edited, cooked dinner, and we did some unwinding. So yeah, I'm about to chill out on the couch and watch Love Island until I get tired. And then I'm gonna go upstairs and lay out my stuff. I'm not gonna show that in the video, but I'm gonna lay out my gym stuff because I usually get up for the most part at five in the morning to go to the gym. And it's easier for me to get out the door if I have everything laid out and ready to go. So yeah, that pretty much sums up this Sunday reset. I hope you guys enjoy. And just keep in mind, I feel like this is one of the most like chill, not so much going on, didn't really do a whole lot, a lot of hard work stuff. I don't know, I feel like it was hard work. But you get what I'm saying? Like don't feel pressured at every Sunday reset routine. You gotta do everything, you gotta constantly be moving. You can't sit down, you can't relax because it's also the weekend. And if you work a nine to five like your girl, then it's one of your off days, chill days, relax days. So it's all about balance. So yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, share the video, and don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. Join the Brookie Baby gang, because the Brookie Babies are lit. We have fun. We, I pointed at y'all, but we have fun. And if you subscribe, you're gonna have some fun too. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next one, Brookie Baby. Y'all ready? Brookie Babies. Cheers, see you in the next one.